All right, uh, real deal here. Um, so the last one in this series is going to be, it's just called, oh, I misspelled it, um, motion. <laughs> Motion, demo, all. So here I'm just like, everything is combined. All the stuff we showed. And some stuff from previous screencasts. Previous screencasts. Yeah. Everything's sort of in this one thing. So I want to demo a couple of things. So I want to demo frame scrubbing based on motion and rate scrubbing based on motion. So frame scrubbing is where you're actually just going, you're, you're indexing right into various frames of video. Uh, rate, rate scrubbing is where you're dynamically changing the playback speed of the video. So uh, you'll see what, why that matters, what the difference is when I hook all this up. But let's get the frame um, the frame differencing working. I'm going to use the UVC control. So I'm going to say, oops, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my UVC control and set my camera to manual um, as a focus. I don't know, whatever the focus. There we go. So let's switch that. Um, but I guess we should turn this on. Uh, let's go into the grabber and uh, manually get the uh, get device list, get input list. We'll say Pro 9, uh, 920. The light just turned on, so we should see it. Q Metro. Um, oh, yeah, Q Metro. There we go. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> then we're going into JIT.change, RGB to Luma. That gives us this black and white image here. We're going to frame differencing, and you can see it's working. Um, and then we're going to curves and we'll just amplify it. I'm just going into the curve. I, this is my curves patch, the uh, sort of brightness and contrast curves that we talked about before. And I just want to see if I can brighten it up a little bit in here before I even go to JIT op. Um, so I'm going to make my contrast really high and then. Well, you also have the camera contra uh, exposure that you have. I don't know if you needed to. Nah, it seems fine. Okay. I'm just looking at it here. Okay. And, and frankly, it, as long as there's some definition, it doesn't really matter how good the image looks as long as we're getting good frame rates. And we just discovered that if, you know, the low frame rates due to the external USB camera are actually due to uh, low shutter speed rates yeah, in the light. camera. Mm -hmm. So with more light, you'll get higher frame rates. That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that. I always sort of assumed, assumed it, was... it was the cameras just had lower frame rates, but not true. Um, all right, so I'm increasing the brightness and contrast with the curves. And then we'll go into JIT op here and use the greater than op and say if the, any pixel that's greater than a value of 0.1, but we could change that threshold, um, make it even more sensitive. Why is it not getting crazy? It should be, hmm, okay. Um, yeah. Op greater than, what if I set it to zero? Why is it not? Yeah. It's because I'm going through the curves. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, so <clears throat> there's a lot of tuning involved here, so I'm going to see what happens. How do I get a A lot of tweaking. Good... I'll do some movement for you. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, My wavy hand. <laughs> okay, that's a that's a decent looking um, image there. Okay, so any, any pixel that's greater than 0.1 is going to um, turn pure white. Uh, actually, in this case, any, any pixel that's greater than zero um, but you don't necessarily need to use curves. You can go from the frame differencing right into JITOP. Okay, whatever. Uh, then we go into 3M to figure out the mean, and that's going to turn the overall motion into an, a, a single number. So the more I move, the higher that number goes. Um, and we can see that if you make a, uh, if we were to make a like uh, um, multi slider. Mm. Um, <clears throat> let me, sorry, I always have to go to the help here. Scrolling display examples. And I, you just witnessed me pull something out of the help patches, which everybody in the Mac All the time. does constantly. So this should be scrolling values now. Oh, probably the range is set too high. So let's, we have a zero to one. This is going zero to 127. Yeah. So let's make that zero to one. Uh, and why is the default 127, David? It's me. Well, I thought it was related to sound. What do I know? I thought it was related to sound. Also it's still not working. What, what did I not do it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so now <laughs> the number's coming in. Disregard. Um, well, we could do one multi-slider, right? Right. And just have a single bar and change that to be zero to one. Zero to one. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. It's doing a little. So, uh, yeah, it should be going up and down based on 3M. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then if we send it through the smoother, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, we can smooth that value out and then we could scale this number then to control either our frame scrubbing or our frame our rate scrubbing let's do the frame scrubbing first I've got this video in here it's just a video of a plant growing uh, so we go to individual frames here I move your phone it's causing my speaker to go out it's of not my phone it dang is. it I swear. So this is a plant that's just like a time lapse of a plant growing and it's 1872 frames long and we're just here we're just telling it to go to that frame number comma bang which means do it find the frame <laughs> and, uh, and I have auto start set to zero so the movie's not actually playing it's just paused but we're just scrubbing we're scrubbing directly to frames so we're not even using a Q metro we're just mm -hmm. embedding the bang message in the frame request itself right. so. and we have done a, a cast about uh, scrubbing so if you want to know yeah. more go to that so let's um let's do scale and clip to uh, to control our scrubbing. Um, what did we say, 1872? Oh, scale, oh, I see. Scale zero, I already have it in here. Scale mm -hmm. zero to 0.3 is going to frame, uh, so our motion is gonna go from zero to 0.3, is gonna cause scrubbing to go from one to 1827. So the more we move, the deeper into the film we scrub, and we can see the results. Uh, I don't need to duplicate this scale thing because it's already preset in there. So we'll take this, we'll do this, yeah, it seems to work. Let's go full screen and see what it looks like. Hello? Oh. Why, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Oh, probably because I have a million uh -huh. windows. What? Where's... No, no. Where's that window? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm just, You're not connected. I'm not connected. Gotta have those patch cords going. Go. Okay, so now it should work. All right, when we move... Bing, 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 bing. Makes the plant grow. Grow. Grow, grow, grow. Kind of works. I wish you could see him no. waving his arms around. Can't grow. Well, you can see. Him. Now you can. Now you can. So yeah, grow, 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 grow. Oh, okay. So it's you know it needs a little tuning. Uh, also, we're doing an awful lot here, screen casting and everything at the same time. So the CPU is a little. You haven't actually smoothed up. it either. Um, have I not? It's mm -hmm. uh, defaults to point seven five. Okay. Right? That's okay. not really. Uh, enough maybe and we could change if it's not sensitive enough we could make it more sensitive by saying um, adjusting, the, adjusting scale. the scale factor so let's say 0 to 0.1 so that should be really sensitive um, oh yeah look it works hold on hello hello grow you're like a magician grow grow plant, grow grow, grow. Plant. Wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. If we go full screen, we're being very still. Grow. It's cool. It feels neat. I mean, it, that's the, that's what I'm after. It's actually interesting. It makes you feel like you're having an influence on that. Right, planet. right, right. Um, all right, so let's do the other one, the rate scrubbing. This is a little different. Here we're just uh, setting the playback rate of the movie. So it should be going. Let's see if it's actually... Your metro's not on. Oh, metro's not on. Okay, so metro. Playing the movie now, all right. Um, now let's control, is it scaling already? All right, scaling zero to 0.3 is gonna go uh, speed zero to two, and we're clipping zero to two. So let's not clip zero to two, let's clip zero to three or four, uh, and then zero to 0.3, let's say zero to 0.2, and it's gonna do that, all right. Um, good. Okay, what am I missing here? All right, that goes into there. Now, the more we move, the faster the thing goes, and we'll switch this over to show that. So if we're very still, the train goes pretty slow. It's choppy, because it's going frame by frame. But if, we're, if we move around a little bit, the video plays faster. <laughs> So anyway, that's two ways of sort of mapping motion to stuff in Max. Um, you can also do it to sound. <clears throat> sure. Did we not? We didn't show we that. We didn't show that. Mm -mm. Okay. So Let's we could just you. sonify. Uh, we could simply <laughs> sonify the, uh, let me turn off the Metro, get a few CPU cycles back here. Um, there we go. So we'll uh, send um, the value of motion into a scale error goes zero to one is gonna go from 300 to 900, which is like an audible frequency range. 
Uh, we'll, we'll clip that to 300 to 900, and then we'll... Did, we did show this. Okay, and then we'll, sh we'll listen to it. We'll sonify it, so I don't want it to be too loud here. Um, oh, it's in my headphones. But that should be all right, so I think we can hear it in the headphones. Maybe you're right. Maybe we did show this. That's okay. Do it anyways. Redundancy is good. Yes. It's uh, not connected. What? It is connected, but something else is connected. Your scale connected. object is not connected to it. Oh, you're right. Tell me, I don't know. But something else is connected. Hold on. What is the one that has the... I told you we had it. There we go. It's right here. We already did this, but okay, we'll do it again. All right, it. Let me, I had to close that off anyway. So, um, connect this up, and then connect the number to the scalar. Very sensitive, is it? Okay, we could be doing too much smoothing. There you go. Or you can definitely hear the dip in it. Or it's just not, it's not set to. Uh, so we'll do a different scale. Point. <clears throat> point three, and then we'll go up to fourteen hundred. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. like a blink detector. Oh, it's totally gone bananas. All right. <laughs> Do you want me to hold it so you don't have to look down? <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. That's good, that's great. <clears throat> Let's see if I can blink. Hold on. Wait, you're holding the camera. That's the problem. Can you hang it on your laptop? Totes. minutes we've been doing this for 12 minutes we yes. gotta stop we gotta stop 